Hello, I'm Joe Slation, Managing Editor of the Wabash Plain Dealer, bringing you tomorrow's headlines for Monday, March 31st. Our lead story is about the uh, unemployment rate here in Wabash County. The figures for February were released, and the county's unemployment rate rose 0.3% to 6.5%. What makes the uh, report cur even more curious is the fact that the amount of uh, people in the county's uh, workforce rose considerably, while the uh, number of people who were employed also rose, yet the jobless rate also increased. You'll, bring, well, you'll find more on that in the uh, Plain Dealer on Monday, as well as a story on the uh, Monopoly Scholarship Night, uh, which took place to help Ivy Tech students uh, get uh, help, well, which took place to help Ivy Tech get more money for students, uh, student scholarships, that is. Uh, the event was held Friday night at the First United Methodist Church and raised uh, several thousand dollars, which will go toward the scholarships. Nick Van Heest brings more on that story. Also Friday night, uh, Eric Seaman attended the premiere of the Wabash Middle School um, play, or not play, a, a film, uh, which they created over the last couple weeks, that dealt with the serious topic of bullying. The premiere was held in the Ford Theater and uh, featured comments from members of the cast as well as the uh, gentleman who helped produce the film. And um, following the film, the youngsters had an autograph signing session, uh, had tables lined up outside the Ford Theater, and were signing autographs for their friends and relatives. You can find more on that in the uh, Plain Dealer on Monday. We also have a story from our neighbors in, uh, at the uh, Peru Tribune, our sister paper. Chad Abshire wrote a piece about a change in command at the Grissom Air Reserve Base there in Bunker Hill. Uh, Colonel Donald R. Buckley was removed from his position of uh, Commander-in-Chief at the Post, or Commanding Officer, by Brigadier General John C. Flournoy, Jr., who cited a uh, lack of confidence in Buckley's ability. You'll find more on that in the Plain Dealer on Monday as well. In sports, Plain Dealer sports editor Justin Shockey takes a look at the Northfield softball team and the Southwood softball team, which are both preparing for its their season openers on Monday night, which coincidentally is against one another. For more on those stories and, and others, Check the Plain Dealer, uh, w check the Plain Dealer uh, print edition on Monday morning, or you can see most of these stories online here in a little while at www.wabashplaindealer.com. Uh, there also will be links to our social media page or links on our social media pages, Twitter and uh, Facebook as well. Until tomorrow, I'm Joe Slation. Thank you for watching and wishing you the. Best of the uh, rest of the weekend. Thank you.